you may believe living for Jesus Christ is impossible. Okay. As we are now, how many of us is like how Jesus Christ was when he was living on this earth? How many of us is like that now? How many of us is are as perfect as he was while he was living on this earth. How many of us? In my opinion, none of us. Okay. You may believe in order to be successful in Jesus Christ, you have to do and or say everything perfectly without mistakes. I think that is where people get very confused at. As humans, we are going to make mistakes. I think there is a difference if a person is pur purposely and willfully trying to do what is wrong. Kevin, I know what is right, but I want to do what is wrong anyway. I think that is different from a person who is messing up, but is trying to do what is right. Do you understand what I am trying to tell you? From what I understand of the Bible, and I think it is right, as long as you are placing an effort in trying to do what is right, I believe God is going to honor it. And what do I mean by this? If you do mess up, God, please forgive me of all my sins. God, please help me to do what is right and try to do what is right all the time but don't become discouraged if you fail i think there are some people that may think since they can't do everything right they might as well become a witch or do as much wrong as they like because even if they are trying to do what is right, they are failing so they may have a thought in their mind, well, I might as well do what is wrong. I think if you do that, things will become worse for you. In my opinion, Everyone on earth that tried, how can I say this? Every human that was born in sin, I believe all of them were not 100% perfect. Did they strive for perfection? I think some of them have. If, if I am right, if every human that was born in sin was not born, was not, I mean, was not 100% perfect, does that mean they all went to hell? Does it? So if they were not 100% perfect, but strived for perfection and went to heaven, if, if, okay, what about us? Am I saying purposely do what is wrong? No. What I am telling you, never give up. 
strive for perfection even if it is difficult. Do you understand what I am trying to tell you? Stop becoming discouraged and giving up because you feel like you can't do everything right. From my understanding, we grow in God. As in, the more we learn, the more we apply it to life, the better we become. So from my understanding, while we are on this earth, I don't think any of us can do or say everything right. So if that is the case, stop believing that you are going to be perfect in doing God's rules in such a short time. Like, do you believe, <clears throat> do you believe you can do everything right within two weeks? Can you, be, do you believe you can do everything right within one or five years? Man, from my understanding, and this is what I believe, Living for God is a growing process. Constantly growing. I believe if we choose to, I believe we can constantly grow in God. I don't think there is an end point. I think as we grow and learn, there is so much more to grow and learn. So I should, as time passes by, I should become better and better. Not getting better, then, then, then decrease, then go up a little bit, then decrease. I should be progressing. Do you understand what I am trying to say? Maybe when you start off, you may be a bit unstable, I guess. But don't give up. Never give up, no matter how bad you think you are at living for God. When I was, I guess some years back, there was a game, a video game, I wanted to become better at. And I am not saying you should play video games. I believe I have made a video about that, about that subject. So, so there was a game I wanted to get better at. I practiced. I practiced. I practiced and practiced. Yes, I became better but I still made mistakes. I became better, but there were still some people that were better than me. I became better, but there were times when I would get beat by some people as if I was an amateur or something like that. But I practiced and practiced. Yes, I believe I became better, but I never became perfect at it. Do you understand what I am trying to tell you? I placed many hours in that game. I learned so much, but I still do not know everything about that game, which I don't play anymore. I guess I should say game series. Maybe I should say game to make this easier to understand. No matter how good I get at that game, I never became perfect at it. I would make mistakes. Yes, sometimes, you know, I would try to fix those mistakes, but still, ultimately, I believe I still made mistakes. 
you are human. You are going to make mistakes, but strive for perfection. Never give up. I believe if God sees you doing that, I think he will honor that. So in your mind, if you are receiving thoughts that God hates you, he will never forgive you because you continue doing, you are continuing to do the same bad thing over and over again. Don't listen to that. Why in the world, if God doesn't want us to perish, why would he discourage us in our mind? So if that is not God, who is it? Yourself? I don't think so. I think it would have to be demons or a demon. Never give up. Strive for perfection no matter how many times you mess up. This is very important. If you mess up, okay. Get up and try again. Kevin, I mess up 1,000 times a day. Okay, get up and try again. Well, Kevin, I am tired trying. You are tired trying, huh? But if you don't try... Don't you have so much to lose? What if I told you at the end of your life, I will give you $20 million. Yes, this may not make any sense, but maybe how can I say this? What if I told you after 20 years, I will give you $10 million if you do something that is very difficult for you to do. But no matter how many times you mess up, I want you to continue doing it. And if you stay consistent in it, I will give you the money. Would you give up? Would you give up? Many of us may not give up. Why? Because if you give up, you have so much to lose. If you give up on God, you have so much to lose. Not even worth it. Let me stop here. God bless you.